it's Kotec Prime here again. I had to teach you how to use your calculator to solve differentiation. Now, using the calculator, it makes it much easier and faster because you can also confirm your answer when you are done solving a differentiation question. Is my answer correct? Is my answer right? Is my answer wrong? So, let's start with these few questions we have here. Now, the first question here, we're asked to differentiate 3x squared minus 6x plus 4. Now, solving this using normal procedure, which we call by rule, as we know, and the derivative of a constant is 0, then 6x, this will be n minus 1, that is 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 times 6 is 6, this is uh, minus 6 plus 0, and this is 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 times 3 is 6, this is 6x, which is our answer will be 6x minus 6. And by solving this normally, you get 6x minus 6. Now, let's try using calculator. How can I confirm that this answer is correct? Now, I'm using the Casio 991E plus calculator. Now, to solve this, if you check, we have a differentiation sign here. You press shift. You press shift. And you click on this. Then you have that. Now let's put in the values 3 now for x we press alpha now down here we have x on top so we press alpha this to bring out the x so 3x square then this is for square 3x square minus 6 again alpha x then plus 4. Now, when using the calculator, you can easily to confirm your answer. Like I said, you have to give the value as x tends to what? So let's say as x, as x tends to 2. As x tends to 2. Let's say equals to, we have 6. So we have 6. Let's write it here. We have 6. Six. So now, how do I confirm if this answer is correct? We are still in the process. Now let's substitute two in this our answer here. Like I said, when solving this by normal procedure, you have six x minus six. Now we use as x tends to two in the calculator. Now all we have to do is substitute two to our final answer. If it if it still give us six, then we know our answer is correct. Okay, let's do it like this way. This is 6x minus 6. We have 6 alpha x minus 6. Now to solve this for an unknown variable, we first calculate this symbol here, C-A-L, cal. Now as x, when x is 2, we will press 2. Okay. Then press equals 2. Now the answer is... 6. So as you can see, we are correct. I mean, when solving this, 3x, when, when finding the derivative of 3x squared minus 6x plus 4, you will get 6x minus 6. So to confirm your answer is correct, you just follow the procedure I just did right now. Now, when using your calculator, you have as x tends to 2, your answer is 6. So now you confirm your answer since you use as x tends to 2. You also use the same 2 substitute the value of x that to be where you see x you write 2 6 bracket 2 6 times 2 minus 6 6 times 2 minus 6 now what it means where you see x write 2 all right let's go to the next one we have to, another question find the derivative of 7x cube 7x cube as you know by normal procedure, this will give us 3 minus 1 is 2, then 3 times 7 is 21. This will give us 21x raised to power 2. Now, how do we confirm this in our calculator? Let's go back to it again. Like I said, you press shift and this to get the derivative symbol. Now, the question says 
x cube. Let's put our 7. 7 normal procedure alpha x cube raised to the power 3 alpha x cube. Let's see as x tends to 2. Let's see what we have. We have 84. So for this in the calculator, we have 84. Now let's confirm our answer here. When finding a derivative of 7x cubed, we have the answer to be 21x squared. Now let's confirm it. Let's put as x tends to 2. Let's take the limits, as some of you call it. Let's take the limit as x tends to 2. 21x squared. Alright. So, 21 alpha x squared. 21 alpha x square. Then you press the calculate for an unknown variable. Calculate. And as x tends towards 2, let's press 2, then equals 2. You can see that we have 84 as the answer. 84 as the answer. The same 84 we had here, the same 84 we're having here. That means when taking the limit of this as x tends to 2 to give you 84. So you can be sure that this our answer here is correct. Let's go to the next one. Now, this is a quite a long equation. We're asked to find the derivative of 3x cubed plus 2x raised to the power 4 plus 10x raised to the power 2. Now, let me solve this and show you what we'll get. This will be um, 9, 9x squared plus... 8x raised to power 3 plus 20x. Now, taking the derivative of this 3x cubed plus 2x raised to the power 4 plus 10x square, we'll get our answer to be 9x raised to the power 2 plus 8x raised to the power 3 plus 20x. Now, let's solve this equation. Let's find the derivative of this equation using the calculator. Let's check if our answer is correct. Note, this is just to check if your answer is correct. Let's proceed. Like I said before, shift, <coughs> shift, <coughs> sorry, shift this, get, now let's proceed. We have 3x cube, let's put it 3, then alpha, click on alpha, then click on this. You see a x up here, 3x cube, raised to the power 3, plus 2x raised to the power 4, alpha x raised to the power 4, plus then 10, 10x click on alpha this x with part 2 and let's take as x tends to 2 now our answer is 140 answer here is 140 as x tends to 2 140 now let's confirm our answer 9x square plus 8x cube plus 20x. Let's check if it is correct. All we have to do is to take the limit of this as x tends to 2. Now let's do it. 9 alpha x square plus 8 x raised to the power 3 plus 20 X. Now, like I said earlier, to solve for unknown variable, we press on the CAL car. Then, what is X? Let's take a taking limit as X tends to 2. So, we we'll input 2, then we we'll press equals 2. Now, note, taking the limit as X tends to 2 for this equation, the answer is 140. Like I said before, solving this, finding the derivative of this equation, we got this 
Now, using this in the calculator, and as x tends to 2, we have 140. Now, to confirm if this answer is correct, we'll also take the limit as x tends to 2 to check if it's correct. And luckily for us, we have 140. So, it's the same thing. You can always use your calculator to confirm your answer. Let's advance for that. Let's do two more before we go. Now, we're asked to find the derivative of 7 plus 3x plus 2x squared. Now, how we do this? Like I said, um, this of the constant is 0 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4x. That is 3 plus 4x. Now, let's confirm the answer. Let's solve this first using the calculator. Finding the derivative of 7 plus 3x plus 2x squared. Taking limit as x tends to 2 using the calculator. Now, like I said earlier, shift, then this. Now, 7. 7 plus 3 alpha, then Oops, here you have x, x plus 2 alpha, we have x squared. Now, taking limit as x tends to 2, let's see what we have. We have 11. We have 11. So, let's write it here, 11. Now, solving this in the calculator as, uh, taking as the x tends to 2, we have 11. Now, let's confirm our answer. For this the answer is 3 plus 4x now we'll take the limits of 3 plus 4x just the limit alone not derivative 3 plus 4x as x tends to 2 if you give us 11 that means our answer is correct let's proceed this is 3 plus 4 alpha x then cow like i said for an unknown variable cow as x tends to 2, we have 11. So you see, our answer here is correct because it corresponds with what the calculator gives us. Let's go further. And the last for today, we have find the derivative of 3x raised to the power 5 plus 4 over x squared. Now, if you are given this in an examination um, hall or asked to solve this, as most of you would do, you follow quotient rule to solve this because it has the division sign. But you can solve this without using quotient rule. Just easy. You can solve it without using quotient rule. Now, let me show you how this is done. You have to apply the law of indices to make it uh, much easier for us. This is 3x raised to the power 5 plus 4 over x squared. Now, let's just let's bring out the equation first and apply quotient rule. This was y equals to 3x raised to the power 5 plus 4 over x square now applying the law of indices we have this should be the same thing as y equals to 3 x raised to the power 5 plus 4 x minus 2 so now applying the law of indices this will change to this now let's proceed but as it is now it is, it is not easier form so let's solve it by using the normal process so to find the derivative of this of 3x raised to the power 5 plus 4x raised to the power minus 2. Now this will be equals to the y over the x will be equals to now this will be 3 times 5 15 5 minus 1 x raised to the power 4. Then this will be minus minus 8 minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 x raised to the power minus 3 now solving this normally you get this and note i've just shown you a way of escaping quotient rule by using the law of indices to get your answer so this is our answer 15 x raised to the power 4 minus 8 x raised to the power minus 3 now let's confirm this if it is correct using the calculator Okay, now, this is our question. 
let's take normal um shift this now 3x raised to the power 5 this is 3 alpha x raised to the power 5 plus now to as if you are good with this calculator you just know how to press these figures or to bring out the sign this is for the division sign then we have 4 x square and let's see now since we have a division here we have to take we have to solve the derivative as x tends to a very small figure less than zero less than zero so let's take 0 0.2 0 0.2 that's because we have a division sign here 0 0.2 if you take something greater than zero answer will not correspond let's take 0 0.2 You can see even the calculator is taking time to process it and give us the answer. So we have minus 99.97. Minus 99.97. Let's write the answer somewhere here. So we have minus 999.97. Good. Okay. Now, now let's check if this answer here is correct. Let's confirm it. By taking the limit of this as x tends to... 0.2 let's say this is 15 <coughs> i'm using this way 15 15 x raised to the power 4 this is alpha to get x raised to the power 4 minus 8 x raised to the power minus 3 minus 8 x raised to the power minus 3 okay now let's use normal this is for an unknown variable we're looking for an unknown variable so cal as x tends to 0 0.2 okay let's say equals to okay now you can see we have minus 999.97 so with this you can be sure that you can be convinced that you can use the calculator to confirm differentiation answers to check if your answer is correct you can easily use your calculator in case writing an exam an obj exam or any exam to be sure of your answer if you're getting it wrong you're getting it right so you can see still give us the same thing minus 999.97 same thing we had here using the calculator to, using the calculator to find the derivative of this as x tends to minus as x tends to 0.2 you see all right thank you very much for watching this video see you next time please endeavor to subscribe to our next video now we notice that this calculator is a bit expensive so most of you don't have this calculator you have the other one and um, which is this 991 ms this is a 991 es notice that most of you have this one so please subscribe to our next video to watch how to use this calculator to solve differentiation notes even this calculator can solve differentiation it can also solve vectors for engineering students okay that will be all for now. See you next time.